Hello everyone, my name is Minh Khoi. I'm in fourth grade in Nguyễn Thị Định Primary School. Today I'm going to present to you guys a story about Helen Keller. So, who is Helen Keller? Helen Adams Keller was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama, USA. At that time, she was born perfectly healthy and was the happiness of her parents. At just 19 months old, Helen suffers from a strange illness that doctors could not Diagnose. Helen has completely lost her ability to hear and see. From a healthy child to suddenly living in darkness, Helen became angry at her helplessness and difficulty in controlling herself during her childhood days. In March 1887, Annie Sullivan, a 20-year-old girl who had just graduated from the Perkins School for the Blind, came to Tuscumbia to work as Helen's teacher. More than anyone else, Annie Sullivan understood the suffering that her student had to go through. With understanding and love, this teacher helped Helen find the light inside of her own heart. The story of Helen Keller and Annie Sullivan is still an inspiration about the will to live for the people with disabilities. Over 49 years with Helen Keller, Annie Sullivan taught her how to spell her first words until she began to speak. Annie was always patient, even reaching out for the people who could completely help Helen out develop their abilities. As a teenager, Helen soon entered the university gates. Keller later became known as the first deaf and blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree from Radcliffe University. The first book, The Story of My Life, about her own life, has been translated into more than 50 languages and is on the bedside tables of many generations of young people. During her lifetime, Helen Keller contributed a total of 12 books and more than 475 speeches on topics such as faith, optimism, war, education, racism, and more. Not only being an example of the will to live, Helen Keller also aspires to help those around her, the victims of war, poverty, and disease. Her speeches are the voices of the working poor and women who are fighting for equal rights. Joining the American Association of the Blind in 1921, she did her best to help the blind create jobs and help them integrate into life. Keller received many blind people, answered many letters, and lectured in four 39 countries around the world. We are never really happy until we try to brighten up the lives of others. This is a great lesson that Helen Keller left behind. This woman had traveled to dozens of countries around the world to inspire millions of less fortunate people with her story. Helen Keller is proof that the meaning of life is up to you, not your flaws. No one has the right to consume happiness without producing it, she said.
Không ai có quyền tận hưởng hạnh phúc mà không tạo ra nó. That's what I've learned from her. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.